In this video, we're going to be covering Clark sign, also called the patellar grind test. Although this test has poor psychometrics, so poor sensitivity and specificity, it's often used to try and rule up patellofemoral pain syndrome, although this test can also be positive in patellofemoral degenerative joint disease and chondromalacia patella. To assess for Clark sign, the patient's going to be positioned in supine, as you see right here, and using the first web space between the first and second digits, the PT is going to block the patella superiorly. So I'm going to be doing it on the patient's left patella right here. And what you're about to see here is I'm actually going to sort of drag my hand superiorly in an attempt to take up the slack in the soft tissue, including the skin. So that way I've got a firm grip superiorly on that patella. So again, take up the skin, soft tissue, all the slack there. And right there, you actually see the patella blocked superiorly by my first web space between my thumb and index finger right there. Now, I'm going to apply a light force inferiorly and posteriorly to the patella. Now, by inferiorly, I mean basically down the leg to the foot. Posteriorly is basically through the knee into the table behind the patient's knee. But in general, the inferior force is going to be a lot greater than the posterior force. You're really just trying to prevent the patella from moving superiorly. The reason for this is oftentimes in patellofemoral pain syndrome, the patient experiences their familiar pain when they contract their quadriceps, and the quadriceps normally pull the patella superiorly. So that's why we're going to block the patella with mostly an inferior directed force, and we're now going to have the patient slowly build up tension in the quadriceps, and we're going to be monitoring for any sign of pain, apprehension, or anything like that. Now, one very important thing here with Clark sign is this is not going to be a pleasant test for anybody, especially if the patient contracts their quadriceps quickly. So I have this here emphasized. They're going to build up the tension in the quads slowly. In fact, you may actually want to have the patient practice building up tension in the quads slowly a couple times before you ever put your hand on the patient's knee because if they build it up too quickly while you're doing this test, it can cause anyone to shoot off the table through the roof, okay? So, back to this. Once you have that inferior and a little bit of posterior directed force on the patella, you're going to instruct the patient to slowly contract the quads more and more, build up tension slowly, and monitor for any pain. So the patient's now slowly building up tension in the quadriceps. Now, a positive test here, or Clark sign is often seen in patients with patellofemoral pain syndrome. However, just because they have a positive test doesn't mean they have patellofemoral pain syndrome. And that's because Clark sign is often seen in other conditions like chondromalacia patellae and patellofemoral degenerative joint disease. So let's take one more look at Clark sign here. So again, we're going to use our first web space and we're going to take up the skin, we're going to take up the slack and all the soft tissue here and get a nice grip there on the superior aspect of the patella. We're going to block it superiorly. We're then going to exert a light inferior and posterior directed force on the patella and then have the patient slowly build up tension in the quadriceps. Make sure it is slow and we're going to monitor for any sign of pain or apprehension related to the quadriceps contraction. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.